Welcome guys to another video today. We got the truck tour as I got uh, 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 What's going on guys? Welcome to another video today. We got the truck tour as I as I guys Yeah, I said I cannot talk today guys, but we're just gonna roll with that intro right there We're doing the truck tour today. This is probably the last time you're going to see this truck Hint hint Big things coming. Turn on post notifications. Subscribe right now. Like this video because big things are coming and you're going to want to see the videos. I can tell you that. That's as much as I'm saying right now. Probably the last time you're going to see this truck. You're probably going to see it here and there in the next, you know, five to ten episodes. I, I really don't know. I got stuff in the works right now that I've been hiding from you guys for months. That stuff's going to be good. But let's, let's hop into the truck tour. We had a boat tour last week. Um, you guys loved it. You guys tore that up. It didn't get as many views as I was expecting So I'm hoping that this one's gonna do better So be sure to you know pop that like button comment below on your thoughts and everything and uh, It's a piece of bird poop right there. I just got this thing washed today. So uh, oh yeah, look at that. yeah. So guys, I just I, I washed it. So we went to the car wash. I got this thing all washed. I came back home. It's been super hot lately, so I was like, I'm gonna wait until the end of the day before I do the truck tour because I don't want to be sweating off. And then it ends up raining. So now the truck's dirty. You got a bird trap on the on the top. Everything. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it's 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 not as premium as it should be. But uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and get this truck tour started. So we're gonna start on with the outside. All right, guys, start off with the outside. We're gonna talk about these big boys right here. So, <laughs> so I actually had 35s on this thing um, years, golly. Guys, it's been a while since I've had this thing. Um, I'd say about two years ago, longer than that. Yeah, it's creeping on about two, or it's been two years. It's probably been about two years, a little over two years. I moved the 37s, um, these are 1350s. 20 inch rims, negative 44 offset. You know, we got that fat approach you can see back there. You know, the offset's very, I, I got these things sticking out a lot, which is good and bad. I love the look of it. I like how it looks mean. Um, I like how it's thick. It's not super, super, it doesn't look like it has spacers on it. Like it's not too, too much, but it's, it, it's a lot. You know, it is a lot, but I do not have spacers. No, I don't, it's just a heavy, heavy offset. Moving on to the front, we've got the Fab Four Vengeance bumper right here. I absolutely love this thing. I think it looks really clean. It's not super bulky, nor is it super small. You know, this is, they had multiple bumpers that I could choose from when I was going to pick them out for this truck. And this one was still had that like bulky look to it, but it was also lighter. Like they had a few other um, series that I could look at and you know, they're a lot heavier. Um, there were some that were a lot bigger, a lot heavier, and there were some that were a little around the same size, but they were still heavier. I want to go as light as possible because this is a Toyota guys. You guys know the gas is not the best. Um, so that's what I got right there at Vengeance. As you can tell, Got a standard old rigid light bar right there. And then right here we have two pods. One is a fog, one's a flood. And then moving on to the grill, which I have the old rigid grill, which I absolutely love. I think it's really clean, really sleek. Got some more pods right here. Old light bar right here. This is the problem that we got right here with this light bar. So this, this is something that I did not think through. But then again, it was like just one of these deals. So as you can tell, I got the rigid light bar right here. This right on the bumper, it literally hits it. That's the only thing about that bar. If I'm gonna turn one on, it's probably gonna be the bumper bar. And that's what I'm gonna use, personal preference. Stock headlights, was gonna get some, some different headlights, ended up not doing that. I wanted to get some LEDs, but I'm not gonna need that anymore. Moving on down the side of the truck, what else we got? We have a 54 inch curve up here. This thing is bright, guys. I mean, absolutely bright. That thing will blind you. If I'm going down the road and I hit you with that, that's, that, that thing is bright. Um, you, as you guys know, I mean, rigid, rigids are just very, 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 very bright. I absolutely love that thing. If I'm going down back roads super late at night, not really many people out there. I'll turn it on, I'll flip it on every once in a while. And I promise you to light up the whole, whole street easily. You just gotta make sure a car doesn't come down because I'm telling you, if that hits you, it's not gonna be good. Got a fat four roof rack up top. Um, got some pods on the side. I got two on this side, two on the other side. This plate up front actually can come off 
and you can put some of those little slim bars in there but i did not do that since i already had the 54 inch curve as you guys can tell i have a four door obviously or not a four door i got a double cab not a freaking four door I I'm jumping way too far into conclusions, guys. I'm telling you, stay tuned to the videos. I, I can't even think. My brain's not in processing anymore. Up top, we got the rod tubes. As you can tell right there, those are awesome. We got a dual Borla exhaust. So we got the Vengeance bumper in the back, four inch cubes, or not cubes, uh, regular light bars right there. I really don't care if you guys see that. It's just KTV TV. I mean, people hide their license plate, but I mean, there ain't no. But ain't no messing me. <laughs> I got an ARE cap on the back. ARE is absolutely awesome. Show you guys back here. Old extension cord. Got some baits right here. Truck vault. This thing is awesome, guys. I absolutely love it. I've had multiple videos where I've talked about it, showed you guys the tackle. I was going to show you guys everything I have in here. But I'm actually going to save that for another video because I don't have it super organized. And I'm actually going to take you guys through the back of it so stay tuned for that episode it is going to be coming up here very 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 soon i'm going to put all the tackle in there i'm going to show you what tackle i have in there why i have it in there and we're going to organize the whole thing it's going to be a killer video so be sure to stay tuned for that one this side pretty much let's just sum it up that's some water bottles there right now those are spilling everywhere so i have to put them in here water bottles tools um jumper cables that type deal this is where i have like my rain suit my baits we're going to be going over that though this is going to be a cool video also featuring the rusty hitch that I have right here because I bought it and within a, <laughs> within a month it just got all rusty like that. So yeah, I bought a new hitch and it looks like it's about 10 years old, but I promise you it's not. There's actually where I backed into a pole at Taco Bell. I don't know if you guys can see that, it's so slight. It's so slight right there. <laughs> I literally, the pole was sticking out a little too much and it, it was just a done deal. I didn't even think about it. As I said, I got the dual Borla. Oh yeah, if you're talking, if you're thinking about the lift, I got a six-inch Rough Country for the rims. I didn't even talk about the rims or the tires. I did say what I have, but I didn't talk about them. I got the XT Series Rock Stars. I know you guys are gonna talk trash about them, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. They don't look bad on my truck. They do not. Do I like them? They're okay. Do I love them? No. Do I hate them? No. They're kind of in the middle, guys. I, it was really hard for me to make a decision on what I was going to put on here. I wish I would have chose something different. We're going to be experimenting with something new this upcoming time, and uh, I already got it on the way. I'm telling you guys, everything's almost it's about there. We got the Nittos. These are the trail grafflers. You know, you got that meaty tire. It's just the tread, guys. These tires are absolutely destroyed, and I've had some people actually comment in my videos, dude, your tires are destroyed. You need to go get them checked. Guys, I know they're destroyed. I actually, literally, I'm buying new tires on this thing here very soon i would say in about a week maybe two weeks i'm gonna be going out of town so it just depends so i've just literally cared zero about these tires the past month like i just do not care because one this one has seven nails in it alone like these tires are just so done it's just i'm going to put new ones on that that's gonna happen here soon maybe i can even vlog that i actually got airbags in the back right here i did forget to say that i have airbags right there if you guys are wondering why i have uh bags on my truck it's because you're gonna have this are cap right here um, you got the rod, obviously the O's don't weigh too much, that's just PVC with line X around it. Um, but you have the ARE cap and then the truck vault. The truck vault is what really weighs a lot, it's around like 1200 pounds. That's going to weigh the truck down, so once I hook the boat up, it's not going to sag. You know, it's going to level it out. Um, the only problem I have about that is it does bounce slightly and I have broke multiple straps. I, <laughs> how many straps have I broke? Uh, probably five, but oh, it's trailer straps. I'm, I probably broke like... More than five? I thought it was something on my hitch. I have guys, I've, I've, I've countless numbers of straps I've broke. <laughs> I've broke, it's been super bad. Moving on to the inside guys. I know if you guys saw this, this is what really sucks. I haven't like blatantly said what's going on with this truck, but we just got leather seats in here now. We just bought leather seats for this thing. They actually look very tight, I love them. They actually smell brand new still. And you guys aren't gonna see this truck anymore. It's sad, it's sad. I mean, there's a lot of money put in the put in this bad boy. As you can tell, it's pretty cleaned out right now. Uh, I got two rods, always always got my, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't even need the name for those right there. I know you guys know, I don't wanna bore you with that. Got the old middle seat right here. Got the S-Pod. Here, let me give you a close look. Here's the S-Pod right here, guys. If you guys are wondering what an S-Pod is, 
pretty much this is the control panel for all my light switches instead of having like a bunch of switches down here i actually just have these up here or i do have a few down there as well but right here these are fog lights these are my uh a series green lights that i actually have you can't even see them because they're not dark but like those grill bar bumper bar 54 inch and then backup lights so somebody's telling me i can flap those on right there oh uh, i got a pioneer right here freaking awesome i've owned two of those this is actually tire pressure and keeps track of your pressure and your temperature in your tires so i actually have these monitors on all four of my tires on my truck and also all four of my tires on my trailer so to tell me if they're going to be overheating or the pressure's low or anything or if it's about to pop it to actually notify me which is absolutely awesome if you're wondering what that gauge is down there that's actually for my airbags and then obviously i got two a series lights right here moving on to the backpack here i got the camera who cares about that you guys don't want to see that i actually got my tackle box i rigged up in one of the recent videos you need to go check out i got some pvc i can tell you why i have that and then we got my sub box down here i actually got two tens rockford fosgate powers um i got an amp under there and i actually got an amp under my seat they're really good subs the problem is is i actually blew one of them and it wasn't even when i was playing it loud which is really weird because I haven't been playing my music loud in my truck like I really haven't and I remember one day I was coming home from school and I was just playing it moderate like I wasn't even playing it loud and I actually ended up blowing one of my subs so I've been I haven't had my subs pretty much for at least five months just because I haven't been home so like I've been down in Savannah I've been traveling I've been back and forth here that I haven't had time to fix them so I literally haven't had my subs which is kind of sad because I love them but that is pretty much it for the inside one last thing I would like to add that you guys are probably gonna like somewhere deep down in this uh down there there's a train horn that's loud it's by horn blasters and that thing doesn't play no games guys I mean that thing is loud my switch isn't working right now the horn's fine my switch isn't working but that bad boy is loud. It's got four horns plus the compressor. Here, let me show you guys. I don't know if, oh yeah, you can tell. Yep, see the four horns right there. You got the compressor, that bad boy is loud, guys. That thing does not play no games, I promise you that. Overall, guys, that is it for this truck tour. Guys, this is sad, man. I mean, this, you guys will see it in the next couple of uploads. Um, I'm sure I'll say a goodbye. To this truck um i'd really like to think you know fab four rigid are truck vault john from all south sprinkler company for supporting me hardcore with this truck seriously big shout out to them also z decals you know they made this beautiful wrap beautiful <laughs> this thing is wild guys uh we're gonna be going with something different for the next wrap but you know this truck's been awesome guys i forgot to say i do have a tent on my windows as well but I just really like to thank them. They've really, you know, helped me out a lot over the years. God, it's been a while. I mean, they've helped me out. I mean, Bridges helped me out on the boats, trucks, Jeep. Heck, they helped my dad out with his truck. Fat Four, they've, they've helped me out with this one. They're gonna be helping me out with something new coming up. Bridges, same way. Truck Vault, we're gonna be working something out with that. ARE, same way. I mean, we got big things coming, guys, and I just couldn't do it without them. Especially gonna be giving this man my title sponsor, John from All South Sprinkler Company, a big shout out. I'm here very soon because once I have something I got to announce and it's going to be intense, guys. So be sure to turn on those post notifications, click that subscribe button, click the bell and also comment below. I really want to be here without you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting me along the years. It's been awesome. It's been outstanding. You know, I've enjoyed every step of the way. I've had my channel five and a half years now and it's kind of crazy. It's really, really crazy to know I've had it this long. It sucks it's not taking off where I where I think I should be with it. But at the same time, you know, I'm learning every single day. You know, I'm trying my best. I'm putting the time towards it. And I know it's going to come here sooner or later. But thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much. Be sure to stay tuned for, let's say, what's today? Monday, Thursday for the next video. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'll catch you guys in the next video.